Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we're going to attempt to do a reception testing of the new Eton Executive Traveler 3. This just recently came out. I just got it a few days ago, versus the old, which I've had this one for about a year, Traveler 3 and see if we can see if any differences uh, appear for reception. My previous videos on these two radios, functionally they're the same. The buttons and dials are the same. The antenna is the only difference in that this is double hinged. This one is not. And this one comes with this nice case. This one just comes, I think it came with a pouch. Okay, so I've set up 10, actually 11 stations that we're going to try. And I'm going to try to go through this quickly. I already did a show and it took me over 30 minutes and the, for some reason the audio was messed up. So I'm doing it over. And uh, right now, we're both radios are on 9.6, excuse me, 9.6. 0.265, which is out of Tennessee in the United States. It's right now 5.41 p.m. here in Florida. And we're going to start from there. So here we go. I'm going to start with this one, which is the newer radio. We're going to, because this old one, I can't, ha I can't get the antenna vertical without setting it up, then I'm going to use both of them in that position. So, here we go. I'm going to turn this one off over here. I'm going to straighten the antenna out on this one. And then what I'll do is I'll play it vertical like this. So, we're going to turn it on. And we're on that station I mentioned. Turn the volume back up. So, that's coming in pretty good. Okay, so let's turn this off, and we'll move it over here out of the way. And now we're going to try this one, which is the older version. We'll extend the antenna fully. We'll turn it on. It's tuned to that same station. We'll turn the volume up. There we go. Coming in pretty good. Maybe at this instant a little more noise. Maybe. I am getting background noise possibly from my lights. Let me turn the lights off for a second. Nope, that's not it. Could be a mantra. I'll turn the monitor off for a second. Nope, that's not what the noise is. Okay. So now we're going to go through these 10 stations that I have. And I'm in frequency mode. Let's go to memory mode. I've already stored these in memory. So here's the first one, which is, let me turn this down so you can hear me, is 9.350, which coming is coming out of Nashville, Tennessee. I got these stations off of the website short-wave.info and I'm hearing nothing. Oops. I'm also tuning other stations. Okay. Turn the volume up. That's what I want to do. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. We're gonna go we're gonna go through all of these on one radio real quickly. So that's one. There's two. Again, another station out of Nashville at 9.980. Three. Not. There's something there, but I'm picking up a lot of noise. 9.475 out of Tennessee.
Number five is 13.695. Nothing. Oh, I skipped one. Number four. That's all India radio. Nothing. Now, let me turn the volume out for a second. Typically, in my workshop here, I don't try to listen to radios using their built-in antenna. I use an external antenna that is brought in through shielded cable. This, these, an, these radios do not have an external antenna jack, so I would have to clip the lead on, and I may do that at the end. So that was four, five, nothing. And I'm not going to worry about giving you the details about the frequency or anything because they're both programmed with the same frequencies. And we're not going to find much. Nada. Nothing. And these are uh, the various stations throughout the world and their various frequencies. Okay, there's the preacher man, and he's on 9.650 out of Tennessee. And I can hear him down in the noise. Very weak. Okay, now we're going to go to the other radio real quick. So we went through all 11 memories that I had programmed. And now we're going to go to the same 11. This is one that's in... That's in, um, that's just uh, punched in variable frequency. It's not in a memory station, and that's that 9.6, excuse me, 9.265, which is coming in pretty good on both radios. About the same. Okay, now we're going to go to memory mode, and we're going to start with 1. There's, whoops. There's one. Again, that was supposed to be out of Tennessee. Maybe they're now near. There's two. Three. Some noise. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Nada. So Band conditions for a show have been terrible lately, so that's part of the problem. And um, we did get on both radios pretty good that one frequency, which was a station out of Tennessee. And there, in the the loudness and the reception was about the same for both radios. Now, as I said, I already shot this show, or recorded this show about a half an hour ago and um, when I went to play it back it didn't have any audio so the conclusion and I have written it down the conclusion for that test using the same frequencies is the older radio got station number four which is all India radio that's quite a ways away where the new 
radio did not get it at all. So the old one got it very weak, this one didn't get it at all. That could be just a variation from radio to radio from the same make. Just a difference in the radio from one to the other. So maybe this was a good one, shall we, shall we say, and this was maybe not so good. One. It, it's so minor in that, yeah, I could receive it, but it was pretty poor. No, I couldn't. Minor. Uh, the test I did then on all the other frequencies, I let's see. This radio, the new one, I got no stations. This one, I only got that station plus the one at 9.350 out of Nashville was just, I could barely hear it in the noise. The noise level is really high tonight. So I think that's about all, all I can do right now. When band conditions improve, I'll do it again. But I didn't see any noticeable difference between these two radios. Um, and I also did, what I did before is I used this radio. This is the Texan PL310ET, and it found three or four stations that these two radios did not find. So it did a little better job. Still, they were pretty weak. And um, I was surprised I couldn't find more. Typically, you need to use these radios outside, away from electronic, other electronics, such as my computer is sitting here, the uh, lights overhead, or you need to use an external antenna. Unfortunately, these radios do not have an external antenna jack, which means you'll have to connect to the built-in telescopic antenna. We could do that real quick because I'm going a little faster this time and just see what happens. So let me just take one of them and I'll make a little rig here so that I can uh, try that if I can find... Now where did that go? I had an adapter here so I could grab onto this thing and as usual I misplaced it. I think I put it away when I put some other things away. Let me see if it's in this drawer. Bear with me. Nope, it's not in this drawer. I thought for sure I put it in this drawer. <coughs> Excuse me. Not there. I hadn't planned on doing this test. And I, oh, here it is, right here where I put it. There it is. Okay, so this gets a little latch up here so that I can connect to that using a short alligator clip gizmo. And we'll hook this up first. And this is always a little dicey, as some people say, or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to leave it off for now. I'm going to turn the volume back up. And I've got the antenna collapsed. So I'm... Well, conditions are changing. So, let's hook this up. You know, I've got a lot of stations, which, that's the problem with doing this on this kind of radio, where it doesn't have an extra antenna jack. You can overload the radio, meaning you can get stations from other bands, like the medium wave band, quite common. Let's go down through the uh, memories I have in here. There's the station there. Hard to understand. That's That was 9, I believe. Memory 9, yep. I'm going to put a little mark on here. So let's go on down. 
8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Now I'm getting a little stronger station or signal on Mary Station 4, which is I was getting on the built in telescopic antenna on the old radio. 3, I think I'm getting interference from other stations, local stations. Two. Whoops, I skipped over one. One. I think that's the real station. I think that's WWCR in Nashville. Still pretty, pretty bad. I'm using the MFJ vertical antenna. I don't have a ground, which it likes to have a ground. Okay, now we're going to try the other radio using that antenna. Okay, we'll start with 11. We hook up the antenna. Oh, that's pretty good there. Well, relatively, since I wasn't getting anything. Okay, that's 11. 10. 9. 8. I, I'm pretty sure that's a local medium wave station. 7. Yeah, it's coming on all frequencies. So it's overloading the radio. Yeah, I think that's all I was hearing with using this external antenna is that both radios were getting overloaded and a medium, a strong medium wave station was coming into the shortwave band. I've seen that on other radios. It's uh, quite, especially radios where you don't have an external antenna jack. Uh, yeah, jack. Uh, because one of the things they do when they put on an external antenna jack, they will bypass a preamplifier stage that helps boost the signal from these guys. And uh, that prevents or reduces the chances of the radio getting overloaded. Where when you hook it directly to the telescopic antenna, that preamplifier is in there, and typically the radio will get overloaded. Okay, so that's it. Um, not very conclusive. What I was hoping for is I was hoping to find some distinct differences and I was hoping to find stations that both radios could pick up and maybe I could compare how they were picking up. I'm sorry, the conditions are just not very good for shortwave. So we'll attempt it some other time when conditions are, uh, are good or better, what I was trying to say, for shortwave listing. So that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. I apologize. It, it just wasn't what I call a successful test. If anything I could conclude from this test and the one I did about an hour ago is they're pretty much the same. I think these radio, these two radios are identical. Except for the case that comes with this guy and this one has the double hinge on the antenna. I think that's all the difference. Bye-bye.